Welcome, everyone. You are tuning into Engaging Walk. My name is Drake. And my name is Ruby. We believe in the power of walking together and talking together. It's a simple act to stay connected and move when it's key. This week, we will discuss a concept of family norms and roles. And how you go and your significant other can take time to make deep connections. Yeah, so this week, we took a walk over in Torrey Pines, California. It's um northern it's part. Yeah, it's one of Ruby's favorite places to go walk, and we yes. took Boba. Checked out the waves, checked out the sea life, the rocks, did a little bit of hiking, and yeah, it was really fun. Beautiful yeah. area to go take a, a walk. The water was so clear, yes, but it's cold. It's too and, cold um, for me. you know, Ruby and I have like a very, lately we've been having a lot of discussions about um, our family norms. Mm-hmm. And when, while we were on that engaging walk, we talked about our family norms and our roles in our family, and uh, we thought we would discuss that with you guys today. But before we get into that, we just wanted to also thank all the new subscribers, all the new listeners, um, people that liked us on Facebook. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give all a shout out to those media. people. Yeah, it looks like we got a bunch of new listeners in the U.S., maybe I think a couple from Nigeria, so for Africa. Woo, woo, got a shout out for you guys. And, and also Belgium. Uh, Belgium, yeah. Belgium, we have um, some fans over in Belgium. Really want to give you a shout out and a thank you. Uh, and Naples, Italy. Uh, no, that was uh, that was from my album. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. My album got some new um, listeners over in uh, Europe and Asia, so that was pretty cool. But for engaging walk, we had some new listeners. I'm pretty sure it was Nigeria, um, a very long established listener from from Belgium, which we really want to thank you, <laughs> and uh, some folks from the U.S. I think it was someone from Oregon, and then some folks out in the East Coast, Virginia, I believe it was. So we really want to thank you guys. And without further ado, we're going to dive right into the content. So this week, again, our context, our content, uh, our our content is revolving about around norms and roles in our family. So, what do you want to say about uh, family norms, Ruby? So, family norms is like something that we do, you know, daily life and things that we do uh, with the families and with a loved one. And um, so, it's diff- a little bit different from the traditions. I mean, like, tra- I think. By doing that, like the norm, you create a tradition. But traditions is more like a long term thing that you do with your family. With your and um, is when you talk about traditions, you think of something that like um, Christmas, like what Christmas, you do for Christmas, Easter, like something is very specific event. Um, so it's kind of like different, and it's I think it's built up from the norms that you do daily with your family. And um, so for us, for Drake, um, uh, we build our norms. We discuss about it before getting to marriage, during the dating um, stage. Right. And we are, you know, you heard us talking about DTR, which is... Um, Define Detroit. the relationship. Yeah. With uh, Danny Silk and uh, Life Academy. Uh-huh. So uh, we have we had a chance to look into what kind of norm that we want to carry into our relationship especially we come from different you know background different childhood so maybe you can discuss with your loved one maybe you already have done it if not then this is a good chance for you to sit down and hey this is how i grow up with this is my norm look like for me for my my daily life what is your norm look like and then um so we said it we 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 sit we sat down and we discuss and um and we want our family to carry you know healthy norms and i just put up you know the the document that we had and so we talk about love respect what is what do you mean by love you know one another what what kind of norm that you do you know and um and then respect and honor and um faith and then also trust and communication so those are the 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 pillars that we look into it and we say okay so explain more to me what does that look like as norm for you and one of the things that um i think we said about love is that um when i feel disconnect with you um drake will be the one that you know or we find a a place of contact which is holding hand or a hug um to tell her hey i love you and that could be, you know, like a, a, a norm. And so, um, and then is there any other norms that you want to share? Yeah, I think some of the norms that kept popping up in that document that have lived true in our marriage has been um, norms that surround around surround 
the idea of connection mm -hmm. and maintaining intimacy in our relationship. So especially like things like that, like holding hands and not just holding hands during conflict, but always holding hands. We always try to just, <laughs> we just do it. We just do it like in the car. We do it when we walk. We do it in the house. We hold hands. And that constant source of connection really helps us uh, to feel to feel connected to each other. And, um, and that's part of our norms. That's part of our family tradition that we yeah. utilize every day. Even, you know, even when we're having an argument, like we'll eventually come back and you know have some sort of um, like connection a hug time. And a, you know, it's funny because when you share that, there's there was um, um, an event. So we went to a, a marriage, a conference, and um, and we uh, just out. You know, our norm, we hold, we're holding hand, walking toward our car. And there was a lady behind us. Say, oh, it's working. You guys are holding hand. And we was like, uh, we're holding hands the whole time, you know? So yeah. it was funny moment for us. Or at least yeah. for me. Well, because typically people go to that marriage conference <laughs> because they're having issues in their relationship, which... Not necessary you know, for everyone. You're having issues, you're having issues. That's, you know, you, you work through them, but... We went to the marriage conference, not because we we're having issues, but because we just like to do these sorts of things and grow, which I'm pretty sure our audience can um, relate to because, hey, you might not be in um, trouble in your marriage or your relationship, but you're listening to this podcast anyways, because yeah. these, these are healthy discussions to have. It just showed that you were intentional with your marriage. You know, yeah. To your marriage. yeah. And so that kind of gets to this idea of like our norms highlight something. In yeah. our case, our norms highlight an important aspect of our relationship, it, which is maintaining connection. And, and be, you know, intentional and, you know, clear in our communications, like be vulnerable, like, hey, no matter what happened, yes, I feel this, but my priority is you. I want to stay con connected with you. Yeah. yeah, and we have lots of norms in our, in our family. We, we pray before we leave, uh, before I leave for work. We yes. go to church every Sunday. Uh -huh. And then we have a, a schedule. A schedule that's posted on our refrigerator and things if there are things that pop yeah. up we evaluate them you know yeah. sometimes we might have family be like hey do you want to come over tonight and we're like hey you know what that kind of interferes with our schedule we you know when we take our schedule very seriously mm -hmm. so you know when other times we're like yeah you know what that warrants us breaking our schedule let's go take care of that real quick or or date nights even you date know? nights um and then we have time with our dog yes training her, oh, mm -hmm. things like that. You know, these are all parts of our family tradition. Then she becomes a part of our family norms. Yeah. Where true. we incorporate her into it and we're like, you know, we have norms set up around like how we work with her mm -hmm. and how we train her and how and what expectations we have of her and us with um, handling her. Yeah. And, and our norms is constantly involved throughout the time because, you know, like we talk about that before marriage, but then as we are in marriage for like months, the, then the norms can change a little bit and then evaluate, you know, because I think that's the beauty of it. Like we don't have to have a set of rules that things that you need to be done and follow it exactly the same. And, but yeah, then life you have, changes. Yeah. So encourage you guys to like change and evolve your norms with your loved one. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, I think. So going along with norms, you also have roles. Yeah. And we have family roles. Mm -hmm. There's certain things that Ruby is more equipped to deal with than I. And likewise, and then vice versa, I'm more equipped to deal with certain things than she is. Yeah. This could be best just based off of our, um, our strengths and weaknesses. But it could also just be based off of our, our gender. I'm a man and she's, so, she's a woman. And I deal with a lot of carrying the heavy laundry uh, up and down the stairs. That's very attractive. And then she <laughs> she handles a lot more of the folding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, I help with the folding, but sometimes she does it on her own. Yeah, I got trained by my mom. <laughs> you know, and then she, she cooks mm -hmm. sometimes, and then I clean the Most dishes. Most of the time. And then, you know, yeah, yeah so we, we share those roles, but yeah. we also identify like areas in which um, I have a certain advantage and then in other areas in which she has a certain advantage. One of the things that we discovered quickly uh, early on is Ruby is very schedule oriented mm -hmm. and I'm not. I'm more goals and like big picture kind of like things and Ruby is more like what are we exactly going to do 
on this day, on, on this time, and then filling that out. Would you or say like that's keep, accurate? Keep track on things. Yeah. Because for me, I got frustrated and I feel like it's not honoring the time that you put in to, to make the schedule. So if, you know, you already make the schedule and but then you don't follow through it, it then it's, it just doesn't go with, you know, honoring the time that you did. But yeah. Yeah. So we figured out early on, like, hey, Ruby's going to be in charge of the schedule. And, um, you know, but lately I've been coming in and then um, and setting like things that we're going to be doing. Yeah. And um, and then I'd handle... Uh, like handling like a budget and things like that. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that and that's just like things that we, you know, making sure that like the bills get paid and things like that. So and those then, are things that yes. like we discussed um, pretty early on into the marriage of like, mm-hmm. and then, then divvying up those responsibilities. But that person isn't like, solely responsible for that, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's just like, they're kind of like the point person. Yeah. And then we, but we both oversee pretty much everything, but we just have... You know, we just distribute these things according to our strengths. Just like when you, you know, go to work, you may in charge of, you are leading this project, but you also have your teammates going with you. You just, you don't do it by yourself. So it just also, you know, like I was leading some specific area and and now I'm family, but Drake would does, you know, some of the, the leading projects. And, um... And of course, we talk about this way before in, um, you know, in dating so that um, it, it just help us to prepare ourselves mentally and, you know, okay. Week by week, month by month. Yes. We talk about that. Yeah. So we are, we're constantly revisit like, hey, how are we do on the budget for this month? Oh, we were over on this, but we were under on this other thing, you know, and we met our, our savings goals. So things like that. And then we, we just like, are, we're constantly evaluating them and constantly looking at them. Yeah. And so that that works for us, could work for you. If you have like other things that work for you and your family roles and your family norms, definitely share that with us on like the different social media platforms. We got Facebook, we got Instagram, and we got YouTube. And yeah, so you we can would find love our videos to hear there. From you. And I think you know what, if you discuss this with your loved one, it's really like clear out a lot of uh, conflict because maybe the conflict you, you run into because you guys don't have the very clear road and you get confused. Like, are you going to do the laundry or am I doing the laundry or are we taking turns? So, for example, like that, or like, are you going to be solely just work on the kitchen and then I'm just work in the garage or are we sharing? You know, having that discussed up front. It just clear a lot of, you know, miscommunications and conflict. Yeah. So that's a lot to digest. These <laughs> are, these are really, um, these are really heavy things to talk about, but they're also really important things to talk about. Mm-hmm. And um, developing healthy norms in your, in your family can be a challenge. But like Ruby was talking about, they evolve over time and you constantly have to look at them and be like, Hey, are these norms that we have healthy? Mm-hmm. You know, lately we've been coming home and all we do is just watch Netflix. Um, that's it might be um, relaxing, but it's not necessarily healthy. Um, so let's reevaluate our norms. Mm-hmm. Or on the flip side, it could be like, hey, we have been burning the midnight oil. All we do is work. I come home, we work. Mm-hmm. I need some. I need some relaxing time. So let's put that into our our, our norm schedule. You know, things like that. Yeah, and um, oh, it just fly off my my mind. I forgot. Um, also discuss what your your like the more detail you go into your norms, the better it is because you know like the norm that Drake think about you know a wife look like may be different the way that I imagine myself. So where is a common ground and how do you you know integrate those norms together? I think that's a very important. Is is and guess what? It's very healthy because now I get to. No, you know, back in what what I'm trying to say is that when I was single, I had carried everything. Now I get someone to carry it that low with me. So it's 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 a teamwork. It's very exciting. Yes, it's kind of harder to work with someone else, but when you guys figure it out, it's beautiful dance. Yeah, that, we definitely you know? get more accomplished together than a lot. Yeah, yeah. than I would have alone. Mm-hmm. So again, that just speaks to highlighting your partner's. Uh, strengths and utilizing them yes. and and not being afraid to be like hey look you know what while I do this can you please do this mm-hmm. while I'm doing this can you please do that other thing and now we have relaxing time and we got two things done 
as opposed to just one. And then complement with each other as you know we they accomplish that because like oh wow you great at this like I remember Drake was not very sure about cooking and then but he wanted he he he's just so interested it was very interested in that and he just watched shows about cooking and then he was like babe let me try this out and so when he tried it and it tastes delicious really good and you know that moment you just throw into you know some compliments and that will make their day for sure (laughs) yeah i think it's a great thing to always compliment the little things yeah and to not take those for granted Mm -hmm. because you have a great life together and you know i know a lot of people out there you probably have a wonderful you know relationship and a wonderful life with your partner and you have to take time to celebrate that and to be grateful so always make sure to maintain that love and to express your love and to hug, kiss, and like, hey, thank you, thank mm-hmm. you for that. Yeah. Um, so let's go. Let's let's um. Let's also talk a little bit about. Um, so we talked about the evolution of norms. Now we're going to talk about this last topic before we get into the assignment, which is communicating when you're scared or you're hurt. Yeah. So like basically, like how do you develop healthy norms in your family? And I think one of thing one of the things is like you had to evaluate your norms like are they healthy or not healthy are they celebrate life and hope and you know all positive positive things or is more negative you know nagging you know and uh communication even when you feel scared and hurt that is very powerful because you know you're being powerful powerful person you say hey i don't feel comfortable right now but i feel like i need some time to digest and and I come back to you you maybe you know when I feel comfortable maybe tomorrow when you come back from work let's talk about that you know and uh and how do we protect the the health of our connections is also very important you know um conflicts happen yeah I'm not surprised when that happened I expecting that because we are two human we are one but like two you know um people Mm-hmm. Um, but then, you know, don't just focus on, again, like teamwork, don't focus on the person, F- focus on the things that you guys get to work on, you know, to get to work on a conflict and figure out how to tackle that instead of yeah attack the person. Yeah, you don't want to attack the person, you attack the problem and keep your eyes on the problem as opposed to assigning blame. Yeah. And and shame and things like that, like because it could it could just goes down a bad road. Definitely, yeah, it's not working. Growing up um, in the family that, you know, we don't have these family, uh, don't, sorry, these uh, norms and you know healthy and of course, I don't. I'm say sharing this is not like looking down with my parents. I love them. I honor them. What I try to say is that sometimes we grow up and we don't have unhealthy norm, and that's okay. We can create that because we are powerful people. You know, we can we can learn and and bring in things that um that we learn from other. Like I I don't grow up with these norm, but hey, I can implement these healthy norm in my marriage right now. So you so you can do it too. Yeah. So that actually leads right into our assignment for this week for you guys. So this week our assignment is that we want you. This is going to depend on whether or not you're married or not. So if you're married. Um, we want you to take some time this week to review your family norms mm-hmm. and analyze what's working and what's not working and what other norms can be added into your routines that can improve your lives together. So sit down, have that discussion, and take a take a good, honest look at what you do on the daily, weekly, monthly, and then you, know, you can even go as far as into your traditions and be like, hey, this thing that we do every week, it's working. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, laundry, not such, not not so great, uh, or other things. And you just have that discussion, and be honest, and and figure out what's working and what's not, mm-hmm. and then figure out what you can add that will make your lives better. And then if you're single or if you're a couple, then you could discuss and write down. We'll discuss if you're a couple, and then think about it, and then write it down if you're single. What kind of family norms you would like to see? Um, in your life with your with your significant other or in your eventual life with um, someone that you're looking for? And then how can you work towards establishing those norms? Yeah. Norms aren't developed in a single day. And then just having them written down isn't going to 
just magically make them appear. You have to work towards them. But yeah. at least having it written down, there's something special about that so that you can look back to it when things either aren't going that way or you can look back and be like, hey, you know what? We accomplished eight out of 10. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Or we accomplished seven out of 10. Let's, let's aim towards this one next time. And if you are new, it's like, okay, I don't know which area. So it could be daily routine that you do at home. And then I usually just, you know, go through my, okay, what about my mental? How can I, you know, what's the norm of developing my mental look like? Physical, emotional. And then for me, even even for, for our families of spiritual, how can we create a, a healthy norm toward our spiritual growth, you know? So these are the um, char- character. Um, Characteristics. Characteristic of a healthy norm for for your family. Yep. Yeah, so with that, that's great. And um, what we'd like to do right now is thank you guys for tuning in. We hope that you can take our engaging walk and make it your own. And stay tuned for the next week. And the next week we're going to discuss... Yeah, familiar problems. Familiar problems, So yes. things that you might be having with your in-laws, you know, with your brother, with your... Uh, you know, your wife's brother or your brother-in-law, yeah. you know, or if you're not married and you're having those familiar problems already, woo, <laughs> that's some drama. Yeah. Another heavy topic, but a very, another very, very important one to discuss and to, and to get out there. So with that, we also don't want to go without um, reminding y'all to please hit that follow button, rate us if you're watching on Spotify, if you're watching on, or listening rather on spotify or like google podcasts or whatever platform that you're using make sure you just give us some feedback um we'd love to hear from you and we'll and don't share don't forget to share it with your friends your loved one if you think that is helpful for them too yeah we're very excited to be able to bring this content that works for us in our marriage to to people out there and if you find it like hey this is this is good stuff then yeah let people know and thank you so much for spending time with us and you know and including us in your day we appreciate that yeah absolutely and so that with that we are drake and ruby with engaging walk and we are signing, signing out bye